one spot left from this region. And the contestant about to take one step closer to the crown is... USA! Yes, we got it. We got it. We got it. Got it. You just wasn't going to let Puerto Rico outdo you, huh? It's all the same. It's all part of the same thing. Well, how are you? I'm good. I just saw my mom. She got my face on a stick, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> all right, here's your question. I hear you spent some time in front of the camera as a TV correspondent. Any tips for me tonight? Yes, yes. So if you get nervous, I would say just take a deep breath. And slow down. If you have notes, make sure you look over your notes beforehand. And most importantly, I usually pin my hair back so it's out of my face, but I don't think you'll have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the funniest thing out of her. Girl, you better tell these jokes. You better tell these jokes. I ain't got no hair to pin out my face. <laughs> you ain't got no mustache, so we either. <laughs> Great answer. Thank you very much, USA. Congratulations to our five semifinalists from the Americas. Now, let's check in with Vanessa and Olivia. I love that. USA. I almost failed kindergarten. I was such a quiet child, my teachers didn't know if I was ready for first grade. I have since found my voice and used it to earn three degrees, a job as an extra TV correspondent, and a role as an impact ambassador for global nonprofit Dress for Success. No matter where you start, the possibilities for your future are limited only by the depths of your own imagination. Philippines. Welcome back to Miss Universe live from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Right now, there are 20 amazing contestants with me on this stage. They're here from all around the world, and they share the same dream of becoming Miss Universe 2019. Ten of them are about to move one step closer to achieving that dream right before your very eyes. This is the moment. Let's meet our top ten. Starting with our first finalist, USA. I think one of the things that makes me most unique is my versatility. You know, I've been a civil litigation attorney. I'm also a fashion blogger. I'm an extra TV correspondent as well. I'm an impact ambassador for Dress for Success. That versatility is important to the job of Miss Universe. Hey, how are you guys? If I won the title of Miss Universe, my platform would expand incredibly. I would continue advocating for criminal justice reform. There are other countries that struggle just as much as the U.S. does. So I'd love to be the proponent of change for other people in other countries as Miss Universe. USA. And now, here are your top 10 finalists Starting with USA. I do my hair toss, check my neck. Baby, how you feeling? Hair toss, check my neck. Baby, how you feeling? Woo, tired, tired of the foolish. Gone, dust your shoulders off. I feel incredibly powerful in a swimsuit, but I also feel most Columbia. And now, here are your top 10 finalists in evening gowns. Up first, USA. My dress is all about being different because I'm different. It took some time to get used to that, and I've grown to be comfortable with being unique, and that's exactly what my gown says. Oh. 
Colombia.